Good evening, everyone. Foothills Weather Network meteorologist Scotty Powell and with Chief Meteorologist Chris White. Uh, Chris, we've been working over this forecast this morning. It seems like we've been forecasting Irma for the past two weeks, but we finally have got some graphics. So we're pretty confident now with what's going to happen. I do want to say before we get into this, a lot of people have been asking us, uh, they've seen that cone of uncertainty kind of trend Absolutely. to the west we're still in the uh, in, in the impact zone. Yes, we are, and we're gonna get into these key messages brought to you by Allstate Morgan Agency, uh, auto, home, life, and retirement insurance available to you. Confidence is increasing. We're at a moderate level right now for high impact rain and wind event across the area. Heavy rains, they could cause flash flooding along small streams and creeks, especially along and west of Highway 321. Main stem river flooding is not expected at this time. The chance of impacts from Irma at this point are at 80%, 80%, even with that westward, westward jog. Uh, talking about significant impacts, around 60% chance of seeing those in your own backyard. Uh, Scotty, take us into the uh, timing and stuff. Yeah, let's take a look at your timing. Your Saturday is going to be a beautiful day. Uh, I know there's some outdoor, outdoor activities going on. Uh, but if you've not uh, brought in the lawn furniture, the trash cans, maybe you've not closed that pool yet like I haven't. Uh, we've got still pool furniture out there. Now is the time to bring that stuff in because as we go into Sunday, though it's pretty low, we're going to see those clouds increase, some breezy conditions uh, come into the area. But as we go into your Monday morning, Chris, we're going to start pretty, uh, probably cloudy, I would say. Uh, we're going to see some so. breezy conditions. Rain should start to move in after lunchtime. And after that, after lunchtime, uh, we're in pretty good agreement that conditions are going to start to go downhill. Uh, Monday night into Tuesday is going to be the uh, primary uh, time zone for us seeing those uh, major impacts. And Chris, uh, let's talk about those impacts. Flash flooding being the one of the highest risk. We've got that at a four on our scale. Uh, probably going to see some flash flooding uh, from the Highway 321 corridor to our west. River flooding, not going to be as much of a threat just because the Irma is going to be moving through the area fairly quickly. Tornado threat, pretty moderate. We'll talk about that. Hurricane force winds, not expecting any of those, but we are expecting some tropical storm force winds. Chris, you've got the details on those wind forecasts. Yeah, let's start off on the eastern flank of our uh, forecast zones, down uh, eastern Alexander County, down to Catawba County, Lincoln County, and then down in the southern, e southeastern tip around Kings Mountain in the area of Cleveland County. We're looking at 25 to 35 mile per hour winds. Some of those gusts are gonna to be to 45 miles per hour. And Scotty, you know, we've talked with power companies, it seems uh, endless over the last two days. Anything over 40 miles per hour, any wind gust over 40 miles per hour is gonna fail trees and power lines uh, around the area. So this is enough to cause power outages across your area, especially after we get into the heavy rain part going into Monday night. Uh, 30 to 40 mile per hour winds from about 321 west to the eastern escarpment of the mountains. Gusts though to 55 miles per hour. And if we see any shift to the east with this storm at all, these threats will also spread east. So the very high impacts though across the eastern escarpment of the mountains right up the spine here where you gain a lot of elevation and we're talking about gusts or 45 to 50 mile, five mile per hour winds, gusts to 65 mile per hour, and that's going to take us into our power outage forecast. And we're expecting medium, widespread medium impacts to the power infrastructure across the area. Any elevation at all, the South Mountains, the Brushy Mountains, uh, down here in southern Polk County, into Rutherford County uh, around Lake Lure, we're expecting high impact power outages. Prepare now for extensive power outages that you could uh, lose power, Scotty. I think they were saying three days at the minimum uh, with some of this stuff. So uh, they're working them, calling in crews from outside. But Scotty, another forecast problem is the rain. 
Yeah, we're going to have some uh, rainfall issues. Let's take a look at our mountain communities first. This is Northwest Burke, Northwest uh, McDowell, Northwest Caldwell, even into the uh, Northwest Rutherford County area. Five to eight inches of rain, locally higher amounts. Uh, we're going to have an upslope flow, so we could see some 10 inch amounts uh, fairly easily in those locations. Uh, we're talking about uh, Old Fort up into Jonas Ridge, even over into the Globe area and Lake Lures. So those are going to see some flash flooding area. As we get into our foothill communities, Marion, Morganton, Lenore, uh, we're going to see maybe three, uh, four to six inches of rain in those area. As we get uh, between Hickory and Morganton, uh, we got this uh, three to five inches of rain in the Catawba Valley. And then as we go into the Piedmont uh, along and east of Highway 321, two to four inches of rain. Our primary concern right now is from Hickory over to the mountains. Uh, flash flood guidance is showing us anything over three inches in a six hour time frame uh, could present some flash flooding. So anything from Hickory to the west, we're concerned about flash flooding. Absolutely. And then to our tornado threat, with any land falling tropical system, uh, there's always that threat of tornadoes. Chris, we're not really high on the tornadoes, but not really low. It's something we need to watch. These will be short-lived, and we could even see uh, tornadoes occur without any warnings. Absolutely could. Those tornadoes could pop up with any, without little or no, no warning across the area and impact your area. And if you've got wind, Scotty, of the magnitude that we just saw, then you uh, throw in a tornado in there that's even tightening that wind gradient down a little bit more and those winds go up. So going in and, and Scotty, here we are on the threat matrix. It's something we use with emergency management and our partners that we do high impact weather briefings for. And I wanna use it with you as well. Talking about our confidence level here, along with the impact level uh, from the weather event. And right now we've got a big X right there in the medium impacts and the medium confidence and this could go up tomorrow, it could go down tomorrow. I mean, uh, we, we're really in the mountain counties, we're right on the teeter-tottering uh, between medium and a high impact event, Scotty. It's all dependent on what Irma does in the track. Whenever we see her turning north, yeah. that's when we're gonna be able to tell what kind of impacts are here in the foothills. So we're gonna be here watching it for you, monitor our social media accounts, our uh, webpage, our YouTube page, we'll be able to get those. Our app will be pushing those out. And Chris, as we close out, you and myself both have been in emergency management meetings uh, for the past three days. Yes. They're ready for this. Absolutely, 100%. The state of North Carolina distributing resources back to the West now. Uh, they're gonna stage in Greensboro and Asheville. So they are ready for this. And you need to be ready as well. As we start to move into uh, Monday, all bets are off, it's time to hunker down. Yeah, prepare for those power outages. Make sure you have food and water, medicines. Make sure that those batteries and cell phones are charged so you can get information. We're gonna be here with you. Again, a beautiful day tomorrow, but like Chris said, once Monday gets here, it's time to hunker down. Absolutely. And it's gonna be a short-lived event. It, it should is. be out of here by Tuesday evening, and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled beautiful weather that we've been having here lately. And chainsaws. And chainsaws. <laughs> For Chief Meteorologist Chris White, I'm Meteorologist Scotty Powell. We hope you have a great evening, have and great we'll evening. be uh, updating you throughout the weekend.